Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. And it's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. That flew out. Okay. Very nice energy. We have the Six of Wands. Okay. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Message for Cancer. Your cards are flying out, Cancer. <clears throat> we have Valiant Courage. Take action with passion. Very nice with these two energies together. Okay. And what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, what is the message that Cancer needs to hear for the week? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, definitely recovery. So positive messages there cancer i'm going to pull three cards the first card is the issue or challenge you face during the week we have second card which is advice from spirit and the third card is the outcome should you take the advice then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for cancer please okay in your challenge we have the nine of swords <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Cancer, always a good sign. And your outcome, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups with the Nine of Swords. Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Lovers. Seven of Wands is clarified with the is clarifying the Six of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck, I have the Moon card, which is your ruler. Okay. Okay, so the message here, Cancer, is I love this card because, you know, the Valiant Courage card is all about, you know, somebody who is not defeatist. They keep going until the job is done, you know, until they stay in their courage, their power. They take action with real passion, conviction, resoluteness to overcome anything that stands in their way, you know, and, and you know, this Six of, of Wands is a card of, of similar to that. This is somebody who is brave, who is courageous, who is in their strength and their power, who has experienced challenge and overcome it. That is the victory. It's a sense of achievement, a significant achievement here coming your way. Um, and that's what you're being told. You will come through the other side of this. You know, it definitely feels for some of you, but there is a message of staying your power. Stay with that conviction, that determination, that passion, uh, because it is bringing some sense of achievement and victory your way. You know, the Six of Wands is a card of achievement. Um, and it's achievement about putting a challenge behind you and discovering what you're made of as well. I mean, this is all about growth. It can be about growth in your physical situation, expansion, growth, definitely with the Wheel of Fortune and um, positive energy there. But it can also be your personal growth as well for me as a reader by being in your power. Because what it's tying into this victory and this significant achievement is recovery. You're going to recover from this. Um, and that's what the cards are saying to you. Absolutely beautiful energy. But there is a message. Now is not the time 
to let things get on top of you and sometimes with this nine of swords and it is easier said than done isn't it especially with the nine of swords because the nine of swords is how we perceive something it's our thought patterns our mental attitude you know how we allow sometimes the external world to disrupt our internal energy and this is mental energy um this is somebody who is stressed anxious worried upset and they have a right to be there's a reason why you feel this way so something is affecting your situation causing you worry sleepless nights and so on but there's a message here that you are absolutely see the blanket you are being protected by the universe even though you don't see it you are being protected so there is a message be aware that you might not be able to see everything right now but there is a need to get perspective as much as you can in your mind because sometimes how in this card it can be a card of illusion how the mind creates illusion panic um distorts our reality how we're perceiving something we can sometimes see something as far worse than it really is when we're in this negative state and that is the message here because for some of you I mean, you know, this could lead. This, I mean, the, the Nine of Cups is a card of a wish fulfillment, a hope, dream, wish coming true. So it definitely feels for some of you that you feel that this is out of reach. You feel, I mean, this can be, I don't think I'm ever going to be happy again. This can also be a card of... I don't know how I'm going to achieve this goal or this objective that I've set myself or that I need to achieve. You know, remember the Nine of Cups can be a card of, of personal achievement as well. Um, it's somebody who uses that red hat to switch their mind on, to apply their mental acuity in order to bring each one of these cups full, uh, lined up on like a trophy shelf. So this is a sense of achievement and um, accomplishment getting your hopes dreams and wishes by the action that you take but there's definitely with that red hat again get the mental acuity you know this is somebody who switches on their mental acuity to see how they're going to achieve it and focus on how they're going to bring the the happiness the joy the heart's desire whatever is going to bring you happiness and joy into your life I mean that could be in any area that could be in terms of love romance it could be in terms of of health it could be in terms of of property it could be in terms of money career uh, but for some of you there is the energy of the nine of cups is still available to you even though it's in the challenge position but there is definitely this energy here of Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling. You know, it's interesting because there can be an energy of indulgence between these two cards. Be careful on what you allow your mind to indulge. Because if you allow it to indulge this, you know, it's that illusion that the mind creates, the negative illusion. It distorts the reality, your perception. So it feels for some of you, the Nine of Cups, this happiness and joy is available to you but just be careful of what you allow your mind to indulge you know this is about when we're very much in our own heads but there is a reason for that cancer most definitely but for some of you you have the ability to turn this around by switching it says the answers are in your mind here you know the answers are in how you perceive something right now um so the lovers can be love romance relationships or choices in love romance relationships but with the wheel of fortune can be life cycles um destiny a turning point for some of you so maybe for some of you there is a need to deal with some kind of obstacle that's either presented in your relationship or is affecting your relationship and again this wheel of fortune is the opportunity to it's a card of endings and beginnings you know closing one door and opening another it feels in this energy 
cancer, there is an opportunity, a turning point open to you now. And it's it feels like, it. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, when it's in the spirit position, is a positive thing. It's spirit wanting to reward you for your efforts, you know. Um, so it definitely can link, be linked with good luck, uh, prosperity, expansion, growth, good fortune. Um, very, very good in terms of money and career, very good in terms of opportunity opening up if it's to do with love, romance as well, um, or something that's affecting your relationship. There can be a material aspect to this. Um, so it, it's either a turning point, being able to turn something around in your relationship and overcome it and put something behind you here, or it can be something that's affecting your relationship. Because the six of coins is a card of, it can be a card of not having enough. It can be a card of charity. Yeah, but it's a message from spirit to say you are being watched over. Even in the times, you know, you are being covered, you are being held, enveloped by the universe. Um, you have the, the opportunity to bring a real goal um, that brings happiness and joy to your life now. But where, the way you're perceiving something, how you indulge your thought patterns w will change everything, I feel, for some of you. Because now is the time to recover from maybe feeling like you don't have enough. Because this is also the Spirit saying it's your time to receive. The Seven of Wands can be a card of, can be a card of competition. So competing for something can also be a card of challenge. It also feels in this situation, Cancer, if you've been challenged in relationships, this can also be a give and take energy. So give and take compromise because for some of you, when you do, recovery is open to you. So like I said, this is either in a relationship or it's something that's affecting your relationship. But nevertheless, the moon energy, uh, your ruler, is a card of trust your intuition. You are being guided. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. I always say that. And it is about trusting, just trusting that if you act on your instinct, your intuition, you won't go wrong. You will move in the right direction here. Um, it's a card of hidden blessings. And you are being given hidden blessings, you know. So the Wheel of Fortune is, it feels like a powerful turning point is available to you here um, that is resulting in some kind of victory, a sense of achievement, putting a challenge behind you. The message is stay courageous because you will come through the other side of this situation, either because it was something to do in the relationship or something that affected your relationship. Uh, because again, this is an achievement card. This is a success card. So I love the reading for that reason. But definitely hidden blessings, divine orchestration, destiny, things going on behind the sur beneath the surface that you're not aware of, but you don't need to be because the universe is. And there is definitely an energy of trust your intuition. Try to get perspective and focus. Focus your energy as much as possible on getting your hope, dream and wish, heart's desire, happiness, fulfillment. Because for some of you, it feels like some kind of victory over some kind of challenge is available to you now. Beautiful recovery energy, um, powerful turning points, turning something around here that it feels like has been challenge, has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, upset. Will you come through the other side? Yes. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Yeah, I like pure intention. Uh, love the idea of intention because, you know, when we focus upon our intentions, that is when, with unwavering faith in our ability to to bring transformation and all sorts you know that is that is when we are able to bring positive change our way uh, we have the the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely manifest your heart's desire oh my goodness pretty much what we've been talking about here 
Um, so the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all. Yeah. So there is a message of with unwavering faith and purpose and conviction. Take action. Because for some of you, your courage will pay off. There is some kind of turning point here. Some good luck. Some luck turning in your favour as well. Um, that is just helping you turn something around, you know. Remember the Wheel of Fortune is timing as well. The time is now when the Wheel of Fortune appears. It is obstacles are removed. There's plain sailing. There's opportunity to turn something around. And you are being given hidden blessings, divine assistance to do that as well, Cancer. Very, very nice energy indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.